for moisturizers, I've got quite a few here. I've got in the same range as that Dr. Curacle Ample from the um, Ascorbic Acid. This is a moisturizer with pure vitamin C. Um, I got the toner and the cream from the Jumiso Waterfall Hyaluronic Acid range. I really, really like this range. It's really lightweight. I like to use it um, in summer and warmer weather, but it's still really hydrating. And they've actually just come up, come out with a sun cream in the same range. So this sun cream is a, a chemical sun cream and it uh, contains hyaluronic acid. And um, I'm not gonna open this one up because I want to save it for when I'm in France in the summer, but I did get a sample of it that I can probably just test for you here. So this is a chemical sun cream. It's really nice and lightweight, not really sticky. As you can see, it doesn't leave a white cast on me. It's just a really hydrating, but it dries down quite nicely. You could easily wear it under makeup as well. It feels slightly cooling really like that one they also have a physical sun cream in the seeker and aloe range <clears throat> so yeah this is a mineral sun cream and contains centella and aloe so i also have this axis y duo cream so the idea of this is you can use one i guess gel lighter weight cream i haven't opened it yet but i imagine it's one for your um t-zone so for oily areas and maybe a more hydrating cream for drier areas such as cheeks so maybe if i just open it from the bottom here it kind of reminds me of the um neogen one by joan um we've got the onion range again so this is their gel cream I'm just so intrigued by this range because it is actually meant to be really good but I just think onion is just such a, a random ingredient to use but yes hopefully that one is good. We've got the 107 Everyday Plump Hydro Cream. This is just a really good all-round day cream. Um, this is my third pot of this one I think but I just really love the brand. Um, I've also got the Essence in the same range as well. This is more of a lightweight moisturizer type consistency as opposed to say a runnier essence. Um, I've got the new Benton Ceramide Cream. Um, Benton's actually coming out with a lot of products at the moment including two sun creams which I have yet to try but I'm excited to try this one. Um, it's very moisturizing apparently. Um, I briefly mentioned this earlier, but the um, Axis Y Heart Leaf Calming Cream, this one contains the Tala Asiatica as well. Um, two of the Isentree Mugwort Calming Cream. Um, I think this is their new packaging, but I really liked the original and I really like all of the um, Mugwort range actually from Isentree. Um, this brand, Asura, I was introduced to at Amore Songsu. It is a Amore Pacific brand, but their Atto Barrier Cream was really recommended by Unioni. Um, as you can see, it also won All Over Young Awards in 2020. It is really good, I guess, fortifying and strengthening the skin barrier. Um, it looks very thick, but it actually dries down quite nicely. Um, it does leave your skin with a very, I guess, glowy finish because it is so hydrating. So it's perfect for those of you like me who have really dry skin um, and really sensitive skin as well. It's also unscented. And this one actually came with a miniature of the Essence Toner. Um, as well and actually it also contained um, two of these which are little minis which are perfect for traveling um, probiotics still trending so this one is from Mamond contains ceramides and um, probiotics again it dries down really nicely looked quite thick as a cream at first um, but yes really good for dry skin types or if you're looking for an anti-aging option these two are also really good choices so this one is the Troyer Decay Ample Cream this one contains um, two creams one with ceramides and one with peptides and then this lotion which is the vitamin C and bifida lotion this one is in a dark container as well so um, 
to reduce the chance of the cream from oxidizing. Um, I've actually tried this one. I've got a couple spares upstairs. Um, but yeah, it's very lightweight. It's not enough for me personally to use as a moisturizer. Um, I would use it as a kind of serum almost, but if you have all your skin types, then you may like this as just your moisturizer. Probably my fourth tube of the Trial Decay SOS Sleeping Mask. This is from their Axon range. It's a leave-on overnight mask. It's a gel format um, and I just really like it. It leaves my skin hydrated overnight. This one contains Centella Asiatica. And then this one from House of Doa. This is their Peach Blossom Overnight Mask. And I just want to take this one out because all House of Doa products, the packaging is just really lovely. And this product is no exception. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I really like the rice cream in um, from the same brand. So yes, hint, we shall be getting this soon. But oh, that texture looks really nice. Maybe I can actually try a bit here. <clears throat> oh that feels nice it is a gel like texture as well but i'd say this one is probably more nourishing um than a lot of overnight masks that i've tried uh, hasn't really got a scent maybe a slight scent but that feels really nice um okay i might start using that one straight away so that's going in that pile um, and then I also have the um, spot treatment from Axis Y to try as well which is really good uh, these are becoming more popular I think spot treatments as opposed to patches because I guess they're more environmentally friendly um, as well so again with House of Doha I've tried their infamous rice mask but I haven't tried these ones this is the pumpkin one, which is good for dry skin types. And then the mug bean one, which is more of a um, clay-like consistency. The packaging makes them really good for traveling. It's going to be hard to beat the rice mask, to be honest. But I do like that they have other masks in the same range for different skin types. Um, these two are from Purito. These are their newly launched wash off masks. So you have their honey mask, which is a um, gel wash off mask for dry skin. And then you've got their clay mask, which is more for like pore control and all your skin types. Um, this has got several um, cowlin and bentonite clays in. So yeah, looking forward to trying those. Again, love the fact that they're in tubes as opposed to jars. And then I also got the clarifying mask from Solusu when I went to their Bookchon branch because I've tried their overnight mask, um, which I love, and I just wanted to try something different. So first of all, I've got a few sticks. Um, this is from the Isn't Tree range. This is a hyaluronic acid airy sun stick, and I just think that these will be really good for touching up um, my SPF throughout the day. And then I also got this one from Dewey Tree. This is their Urban Shade Cool Calming Sunstick. This was recommended by Uniani. So I got this one as well. I bought this before I was given these. So it's probably a bit of overkill, but you know, you can't have too much sun cream. Um, and then I also got the Round Lab SPF cushion because again, I thought the Round Lab SPF is obviously very popular and I thought in a cushion format that would be really good for touching up throughout the day as well. I'm not going to open it now because I want to keep that. Um, but when I tried it in store, I really liked it. Um, yeah, I just think cushion SPF is just such a good idea because it means that you can um, top up on the go instead of taking a tube with me. This is also a mineral sun cream. This one is from Axis Y. This one's been very popular. I've seen it cropping up on Instagram. It contains mugwort, squalene, niacinamide. So it contains really good ingredients. I have yet to try it to see if it leaves a white cast. I imagine it probably leaves somewhat of a residue seeing that it's a physical sun cream, but I think it's become quite popular because um, it doesn't leave too much of a white cast. I don't know, let me know if you've tried it. Um, I'm really intrigued. 
I think this would be a really good one if you have very sensitive skin, for some reason you are sensitive to chemical sun creams or say if you are pregnant and are looking for a physical um, alternative then I think this will be a good one. Another one of the new Seeker sun cream from Dr. Curacle. I already, already went through one of these which the team kindly gifted um, me when we first started working on a couple of months ago and then uh, during the meeting I was saying how much uh, I love this one so they kindly gave me another one um, and then I have two of the new Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I know this one has been so popular and we get a lot of questions asking when we can stock this. Unfortunately this one is not yet registered for legal sale in Europe. When it does then obviously we will work with Isentry to help bring it in but yeah we just like playing by the rules and ensuring that we're working together with the brand um you know we, we work directly with most of the brands that we stock if not all uh we have a contact with every brand that we stock and we won't go through middlemen or other distributors um that have products just because they're popular so yes hopefully Isentry will get their certification for Europe for this one soon because I know it is very popular but in the meantime they kindly gifted it to me to try because it has been so popular so I'm sure I like it it does I, because I have dry skin I think sun gels may not suit my skin type as much as oilier skin types so I think if you have oilier skin types then probably this one is better but I'm still excited to try that one and finally I bought this one this is the Mamond vitamin sun cream um, I tried this one in a Moray song suit and I got given samples with a purchase from Olive Young and I really liked it um, it's not going to be for everyone because it is so hydrating and nourishing it takes a while to kind of rub in um, it doesn't leave a white cast or anything but um, it is just quite a moisturizing sun cream but for me and my dry skin it is perfect okay sheet masks so first of all I've just got quite a few random sheet masks here so um, I've got the House of Doha rice brand sheet mask absolutely love this one it's very brightening soothing and also just smells amazing um, not scented but kind of I don't know just like it smells of burnt rice which I know doesn't sound great but it, it just smells amazing this one was a free gift with purchase. This is the Marvel pH sheet mask from Abib. I got this when I bought their Heartleaf Essence. Um, Our Vegan was just a brand that I know is owned by Olive Young and I wanted to try it because again, it contains Heartleaf. Um, a few uh, Seeker and Mugwort sheet masks. So I've got the Revectin Dr. Um, Mask Seeker, really like this one. Um, have used this many times before. Um, got the Hanyul Mugwort and also the Round Lab Mugwort. Uh, also got the Round Lab. I think this was their like water gel. What's it called? Doctor Hydrating Water Gel Mask. Uh, so these were on sale, so I got a few of those when I was shopping in Olive Young with Umiani. Um, this one she also recommended. Um, we've got very similar tastes when I think when it comes to sheet masks. Um, when we went to Dr. Jar, we both immediately picked out the one that we both like. We both love the Revector one, so um, I really trust her opinion when it comes to which sheet mask to buy. This new brand, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name, Numbuzen, don't know. Um, this tingle pore softening one she said was really popular and it was also sold out in quite a few places I looked afterwards, so I picked up three of those. Um, a pack of the Abib Heartleaf sticker. You can probably see a theme that I just love mugwort or Heartleaf masks. Um, and then this was the new mask in Dr. Jart. This was their Pore Remedy Purifying Mud Mask. Um, if you watch my vlogs from Korea, you'll see that the, at the Dr. Jart store in Karasugil, they had a huge display for this, like a, a curling display. It was just really funny. Um, but yeah, the flagship store is really good at changing up their display based on what their newest range is. So this is their whole new range, is around refining pores. 
So this one claims to remove pore buildup and control excess oil. And I was just intrigued because it says purifying mud mask, but it's it's obviously a sheet mask. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, this box I was kind of gifted by Isentry. This is a really interesting one. So it says it's um, made from pear extract, but it's a cooling and depuffing face mask. So I'm guessing this is gonna be really nice in hotter weather, which we don't really experience much in the UK, but I'll save those for holiday. Um, and then I got this one from Mary and May. So there's more and more brands coming out with these boxes of sheet masks, as opposed to single use masks, which is really great. So I'm not sure how many, I think this, most boxes contain 30, so it's kind of like one a month. Um, but instead of the single use, they're in kind of a, see if I can open this. They're in kind of like a tissue box format and you'll just pull out one sheet mask. Um, they're kind of heavily soaked in the essence in here. This one is the Centella and Tea Tree range. So yeah, they say daily sheet mask. So there's 30 in here, there's one for every day. Um, but yeah, this one is for reducing redness and soothing irritated skin. So perfect for my skin type. And yeah, I just think these are gonna be a much better alternative to single use sheet masks. Um, I also got given some of the squalene and avocado cuddle sheet masks from 107. I've used these many times before. Really like them, they are really nourishing. Um, so for those of you with dry skin, they're really good options. And then also got these as a gift with purchase from Innisfree when I bought the uh, Retinol Seeker Serum. So this is their Kohlrabi Brightening and Firming Sheet Mask. Looks pretty interesting, but um, Innisfree sheet masks are generally not that bad. Like they're super cheap in Seoul. Um, I think they're like literally like 1,001 or something. Um, so yeah, really nice that they gave three as a gift with purchase. And then not sheet masks, but Dr. Kiriko gave me these PLC solution pads. Um, the idea of these is they actually use them in their skincare clinics, um, post any treatments, laser, etc. But um, they're meant to be very soothing and help to heal irritated skin. So the, I, I thought these would be really nice after my flight to just put on my cheeks because obviously I had to wear a mask for the full 12 hour flight. Um, so yeah, it says here, post care, calming and hydrating. And the idea that it's a patch, you could just put it on whichever area um, of the skin you feel the most dry, which obviously for me is my cheek area. And then finally, just loads of minis that I was given as free gifts with purchases. So um, the Claire's team have come out with travel size versions of the daily skin softening and hydrating water. If you know this product, the bottle is absolutely huge. I think it's 500 ml, so great that they've come out with a smaller version. Um, I've got some Astura samples here that were given with the moisturizer that I got. Um, when I went to Amore Songsu and I purchased some products, they let me choose, um, I think it was about seven products, but I got the Hedda Cell Essence um, Biome Plus. I've used this one before and I really like it. Obviously a deluxe mini of the Sorosu First Care Activating Serum. Um, I've got, well, I've got, I've got a load of Sorosu minis because I also went to the new flagship store in Bukchon Hanok Village and they gave me some of these. So some of these were from uh, Amori Songsu and some of them were from Sorosu. Um, the Mamond Rose one I got from Amori Songsu. Um, the Ginseng Serum I got with my gift of purchase from Sorosu. Um, Hera, this is their collagen eye cream. This was the one from Amore Songsu. Uh, with my gift with purchase with Innisfree. So when I bought the serum along with the free sheet mask, they also gave me um, deluxe samples of the Retinol Seeker, the Ample, and also a miniature of the Hyaluron Moist Sunscreen. Intrigued by this one, and this is actually the perfect size for putting in your handbag. 
Um, when I went to Laneige flagship store and got my um, foundation cushion match with Neo, the robot, you got given a choice of um, samples to get, so you could pick three. So I picked the full new range from their water bank. So this is the water bank serum, essence, and also emulsion. She tried these on my skin um, before the foundation match, and they weren't as hydrating as I need them to be. But at the same time, um, the, the toner especially was just really refreshing, um, as was the serum. So yeah, I just thought I'd get the new ones as well. They also, I could have also chose the cream skin, but I knew I'd already got um, this one at Amari Song too, or the lip sleeping mask. But I'm not actually that big of a fan, controversially, of the uh, lip sleeping mask from Laneige. So yeah, I've got samples of the Jumiso sun creams. So the um, chemical and this one is the physical. Actually, I can probably demonstrate this one for you. I'll just open up the physical one. So physical obviously tend to take a little longer to rub in and often leave a white cast but actually the white cast on this one is not it's not that bad I think mm, that's interesting I think a lot of people might like that one I just love that it contains seeker and aloe um, that will be a really soothing one actually that that's pretty good not bad so yeah samples of those ones um, Dr. Jart I received three of these Vital Hydra solution capsules they're out of date in June so um, yeah these ones are great for traveling I mean before COVID when you didn't have to wear a mask I would slather one of these capsules on I think on Instagram there's my in-flight skincare routine where I literally slather one of these capsules on I really like it um, and then they also gave me the Pore Remedy PHA Exfoliating Serum and a miniature of the Ceramide and Cream as well. This is so cute. So Manufactory got the cleansing oil just because this is quite a good size for traveling and also the Innisfree Rice Capsule Pack. I just love any rice mask so the fact that this one was in a little capsule I thought would be quite handy for traveling. I got a bunch of Troy Adeke samples when I went to the spa. So they give you, I guess, seven days worth of aftercare. Um, and then also in my prescription box uh, for dry uh, skin with um, hyperpigmentation issues. I don't really have hyperpigmentation issues, but I want to brighten my complexion. So they also had some samples in here. Um, the AGT essence I've used for years. I really like that one, very hydrating. But two new finds for me and a combo that just worked really well for my skin is the Intense UV Protector Cream. So obviously we can we have the essence, but this cream just works better for my dry skin and coupled with the Shield Cream. It was just, I think, what really gave my skin glow and really helped repair it after my long flight. Um, I think I said in my vlog that my skin was at its best when I was in Korea, despite having to wear a mask everywhere, even outside, even after a long flight. And honestly, I just put it down to um, the Troy Adeke facial ah, and all of the products that I tried there. Um, so that's more out okay sun cream samples and then I got these a bib I guess what are they like toner pads um, with my gift with purchase for the heart leaf essence Korea is just really good at giving free gifts with purchase it's really good so that was a really quick summary of everything that I was either gifted or bought in Korea obviously I'm very lucky that uh, testing skincare is a lot of my day-to-day -day job and trying to curate new products so I'm very fortunate that I was given the opportunity to try a lot of these new products. Let me know in the comments which ones sound most intriguing or which ones we should curate for Beauty and Soul and yeah I hope you enjoyed all of the Korea vlogs and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!